Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this home decor DIY. So the first thing we need for this DIY is a foam board. And I'm going to be using some ruler and a marker to just help myself where I want my pieces to be. First, I'm going to mark 5 inch and then I'm going to mark another 5 inch. And then you can't see right here, but I marked, I think it was a 10 inches. This part is pretty much optional. Depends on like the size you want to go for, but this is how big mine were and then i'm just going to go all the way from one end to the other uh, marking five inches if that makes any sense and then i'm just going to gather my marks together so i can have like two rectangles to cut them i'm going to be using an exacto knife just be careful because these things do tend to cut and i don't want uh, this video to be causing any accidents so just take your time and this is what the other side that you can see right before looks like it's pretty much going to be the same thing i'm just going to cut through the whole line take your time removing excess and making sure like the edges and the corners are as you want them to be and at this point you should have like two blocks of foam boards and that is the base now as a second step i'm going to be taking two pieces of cardboards but i'm just going to pretty much wrap my blocks with my cardboards and again because mine were like really really solid cardboards it took me um, a bit of time and just uh, folding motions here and there to just have them as I want them to be but yeah just this is pretty much wrapping the whole thing until your cardboard has like the shape of your foam board I decided to just first make the shape on the cardboard and then just glue them because it's going to be a lot easier for you to glue them which is the next step i'm going to be using some mod podge you can use some glue as well and i'm just going to cover the whole thing and just pretty much glue it into the cardboard just take your time while doing this and just make sure you add glue in every corner on the inside and then to actually make those pieces stick together i decided to place some items on top of them with some weight on top it would be easier for the items to just glue and i let the whole thing sit in there for about 24 hours you might be wondering what's going to happen to the edges because they are like still uncovered i'm going to take scissors I'm going to pretty much wrap the whole thing as if i was wrapping a present cutting the excess of cardboard that is on my way as a final step for the edges i decided to add some tape just to avoid my edges from opening now it's time for the fun we're going to be decorating these pieces i'm just going to be using some black acrylic paint and i'm just going to cover the whole thing i'm going to be using my brush as well and i'm going to be giving this a few coats until my black is just solid to decorate the top part i'm going to go back to my ruler and i'm just going to kind of divide this piece into two pieces then i'm going to be taking two pieces of tape and i'm going to be taping them across this board pretty close to each other and that's going to be giving me a really thin line which i'm going to be painting with white acrylic paint and just before it dries i'm going to remove both tapes and then i went with some black acrylic paint the one that i used before and a smaller brush and i'm going to we could say erase my mistakes i wanted my line to be more slick than what it was before i'm going to go with my sharpie and i'm just going to mark where i'm going to add my dots here's the part when you can personalize your items you can choose how many dots you want to go for or how many numbers to add my dots i'm going to be taking my bottle lid and i'm just going to paint the top of it with white and i'm just going to simply add my dots on top of my marks the ones i made with sharpie and once i have done that i'm just going to fill those dots it's going to be the same for the other side the other side is going to be six dots and feel free to use some images of domino pieces as reference so you can know exactly where to place those dots and then here i'm just going to be showing you the other one and kind of like where i place my dots then as a final step i'm going to be using my gloss spray sealer because i used acrylic paint and the acrylic paint tends to dry matte and i just wanted my pieces to be shiny and my design to last longer and yeah this is how my pieces look like i'm just going to be showing you how to you could say display them place them like one top of the other or here i'm just going to be placing them like standing up i actually got this 
idea from a blog that I love. They displayed it like this, like standing up, and I just loved the idea. I thought it was pretty cute. You can go for like the opposite white background and black dots. It's pretty much up to you. I just preferred it this way. I think it's pretty fun to just have different numbers. If you want to make a bunch of them, I just made two of them. This is quite a unique piece to have around and it adds something really funky to the space but at the same time it's just kind of like um, timeless and classic. And yeah, I just wanted to share this one. I hope you liked this. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. Don't forget to share this one if you liked it and uh, let me know what you thought of this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys!